A Brief Biography of Thomas Edison Thomas Alva Edison was born in 1847 in Milan, Ohio. But in 1854, his family decided to move to Port Huron, Michigan, where he was raised. Thomas was the seventh child and the youngest in his family. Edison was homeschooled by his mother. He attended public school but only for a short period. For whatever reason, Thomas struggled in school, so his teachers thought he wasn't smart enough. So his mother decided to teach him herself. She taught him how to read and write. Sometimes people who struggle in school don't have problems. They just don't do well in a normal school setting. This was the case with Edison, and the genius Albert Einstein ran into the same problem. After a while, Thomas developed a love for books. He read a lot of books and taught himself on his own. As a child, he was amazed at the technology and the new inventions and started spending long hours working on experiments at home. He loved to tinker and try new things. He would try different ways to solve a problem until he figured it out. This is called tinkering and one way that inventors solve problems. When Thomas was 12, he became completely deaf in one ear and developed a hearing problem in the second ear too. But what was at first a handicap ended up being helpful to Thomas. His hearing problem allowed him to concentrate on his work. Because he is not able to hear things properly, outside noise is not able to distract him from his work. And as a result, he went on to become one of the greatest inventors in history with 1093 inventions. When Thomas was young, he decided to sell candy, newspapers and vegetables on the trains running between Port Huron and Detroit. One day, a young boy was on the train tracks. Thomas spotted him and pulled him off the tracks, saving the boy's life. The train officials took notice and offered Thomas the job of the telegraph operator. The telegraph is a device that was used to send messages at distance using a wire before the telephone was invented. Thomas was earning good money by the time he was 13, but most of the money went to buying equipment for his electric and chemical experiments. He had always been very hardworking. He had also been selling newspapers on the street and at 19 decided to work for the newspaper Newswire. He asked to work at night so he could spend the daytime hours on his experiments and reading. Thomas was so into his work, he even did his experiments while working on the job. In one accident caused by sulfuric acid, he lost his job. Edison started his own company in October 1869. Inventions Let's talk about some of his world-changing inventions. At the age of 22, Thomas invented an electric vote recorder. He also developed a multiplex telegraphic system, which could send two telegraph messages at the same time. Thomas' most famous invention came in the year 1879, when he built his first light bulb. 
It took a very long time to figure out how to build the light bulb, and he had many technicians working on the project. They tried hundreds of different materials until they found the best one for the light bulb. This invention made him a very famous inventor across the world, and even today many people know Edison for this invention alone. Edison was granted a right known as a patent for the motion picture camera known as a kinetograph. This was one of the first devices for watching movies. With this motion camera, Edison also had a film studio made around 1,200 films. Some of the film's names were Dread Art Sneeze. 1894, The Kiss, 1896, The Great Train Robbery, 1903, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, 1910, and the first Frankenstein film in 1910. Thomas Edison invented many things, but his work was not easy. On December 10, 1914. In the evening, a massive fire broke out in his laboratory. The fire was so fierce that it burned more than half of the laboratory. It was very hard to put out. Edison stood and watched his years of research work burn to ashes. Everyone was worried that Edison would not be able to recover from this shock. But instead, Edison peacefully walked over to his son and told him, Go get your mother and all her friends. They will never see a fire like this again. His son couldn't believe it. Edison went on to say, Although I am over 67 years old, I'll start all over again tomorrow. True to his word, the very next day Thomas Edison got to work, rebuilding the lab. Edison's life teaches us that everyone has challenges, but if we don't lose hope and remain confident enough, we can move mountains. Remember Thomas Edison next time you have something difficult happen to you and you wonder if you can keep going.